So this is the old Masonic Lodge, also formerly a furniture store, and it's owned by Scientology. And this is the subject of our work today. We're looking at this, this building. It's, I mean, it's got a lot of potential. But the property taxes were $73,000, $77,000 last year, and Scientology didn't pay it. Tax assessor has revoked the property tax exemption, so the taxes are due unless Scientology is able to uh, you know, successfully appeal the decision, and they they may succeed. All right, so I'm a little bit a little bit uh, removed from the intersection, but I, I'm not exactly sure where I can put this. Put the donuts, donut stand. So would you like a free donut today? Free donuts for Scientology, would you like a donut? It's free. I'll just put the camera right on the donuts there. Yeah, just, yeah whatever you like, man. And I've got some paper towels there too, but I just have something on top of them so they don't blow away. The wind is stronger than it would seem. <laughs> what do you think about Scientology? Which one? Scientology. Scientology. Yeah, it's a, the building over there. I don't know if oh, you ever. Okay. If you ever heard of Tom Cruise and all the lunatics in Hollywood? They're they're all Scientologists. Yeah, I'm new to here. Yeah, me too. I've only been here for two years. No, new to this country. So. New to the country? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I, I've, I've lived in the United States for a long time, but just not gonna get. But uh, yeah, so Scientology is like a cult. Okay. Yeah, so they uh, you gotta be careful. You know, just, they, they're nice enough, but they, they try to get you to join, and they want you to give them all your money, okay. and they won't let you talk to your family. And oh. uh, yeah, so it's kind of it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. But they they somehow get the definition of religion is not really well defined so they call themselves a religion they get away with some of that okay. but yeah yeah so that's what Scientology is all about but uh yeah if you want um yeah. paper towel just you know so you don't get like frosting all over your fingers you. yeah are you here for school yeah yep what are you uh, what are you doing so, at school computer science, computer science okay. we need more math people <laughs> I'm a tax layer, but there's no uh, there's no actual math really. There's very little math. It's like eighth grade math. So okay. people always ask me that. They're like, oh wow, the math must be really hard. No, it's not. <laughs> if you do it with love, it, it, it won't be so hard. Like my masters. What's that? Like my masters. If you do it oh. with love, it won't oh, be. Oh yeah, that's it's it's easier for you because you're smart. You're a smart guy. Well, at least you have a nice bench. If someone comes by, maybe we can talk. They can sit down with me and talk. Uh, okay, so got our donuts and look back here is some information we can talk. I may or may not be able to give away a lot of donuts today. Good. All right, take care, man. How are you doing today? Looks like a donut. Uh, maybe he doesn't trust me. I don't know how trustworthy I am. Take the shades, take the shades off. So, we're getting some wind. Our sign is experiencing some, some serious difficulty that I didn't anticipate. This building here is about 4,000 square feet. They rent it. This is a rental. But they're never really going to, they just don't have the members. They don't have the members. This is a Sunday uh, about noon. And you didn't see very many people walking out today from the Scientology building. They just don't have the members to, to make that building work, that big building. So if the assessor is successful, they'll have to pay the tax, but they can't afford it. And they'll just have to sell the building and someone else will use it. And that, you know, that's probably the result that we should have. This is, 
you know, about the extent of what Scientology can make use of, a, a 4,000 square foot building. They don't need, uh, you know, a much larger building like, like you just, uh, like you saw there that's not being used and, you know, has some historic value, I think. Uh, it was a Masonic Lodge. The architecture is unique to the area, so we'd probably like to keep it nice. Uh, but someone's got to come in and be able to put investment money into that, that building. Hello, man. Would you like a free donut? Free donut day at Scientology. Hello, how are you doing? Would you like a free donut today, sir? It's free. <laughs> they look really good too. There's a lot to choose from. No, all right. What are you doing? Giving away donuts? I'm just giving away donuts if someone wants a donut. And uh, I don't know if you, uh, you. Well, I just need a couple boxes. Yeah, I, I don't. For somebody who doesn't know, it kind of looks like you're doing something for for them. For your own people. Oh, for all people. Oh, you know, let's. See. I have a sign here. The sign kept blowing away, though. Yeah, I, so I had the sign in front of it. Want to put it in front of it because. Yeah, I tried. Because it might look like you're trying to sell something. Yeah. Well, these are free, so. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Appreciate your uh, point of view there. Is this a maypole? I don't know what that is. I think it's a maypole. Uh. For uh, for some May. But it doesn't really look like it's tall enough for a maple. Couldn't say. Kind of strange. Couldn't say. What do you think about that building that's been vacant for 20 years? The old Masonic Lodge? Yeah. It's a beautiful building. It should be... It used to be... Uh, it's a furniture store at one time. It used to be Halleck's. Yeah. Furniture store. Yeah. Yeah. For years. I, I used to... I went to Southern in, in the 80s. And I lived over there on Fairfield Street. It was a Jewish neighborhood. They had a Jewish deli and a Jewish supermarket. Oh, okay, yeah, there's like there's a synagogue like right right there. Yeah. yeah. But the, they, a lot of the Jewish people walked from over there. Oh. On Saturdays they walked. Yeah, Saturdays is the big day. They yep. Black cars. Yep. And they wear black and white all the time. Yeah. videotaping well yeah I'm not, i won't put you in there if you don't want it. but uh yeah so i just want to let people know about this building that's vacant for 20 years they haven't scientology hasn't paid anything in the way of property taxes so the city you know is um asking to pay property taxes now which uh, they don't want to do but scientology people you're you're you're, you're up against well i mean they, they're afraid to be alive and everything i don't want to I, i'm not trying to destroy them but but they should pay property taxes you know it kills the city the, the tax base is really small as it is, you know. Yeah. What? So they so that they haven't paid their taxes in twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. Can, is there any way they can put a lien on the, on the property if they sell it? Yeah. And so they get their taxes back. Well, they can't go back all the way, but for twenty twenty three, Alex Pullen, his the, the, the uh, tax assessor for New Haven. He says they owe seventy-seven thousand dollars based on the value of the property, and there's no there's no exception here uh, for a property not using. So if if he wins and then they don't pay the seventy-seven thousand, that's exactly what the, what they can do. Just what you said, they can foreclose, take their money, and then they get the rest. Yeah. Make them sell the, the property. Yeah, if they're not going to use it, you know, and they haven't used it in twenty years, maybe they should just sell it. They don't have enough members for something that big, you know. I don't even know what they do. I don't even know what they're doing here. Yeah, I mean, I think they sell books and stuff, but that just isn't that much interest. I think they had grander hopes, perhaps. I think they had a bigger, a bigger Dianetics. L. Ron Hubbard was what that was all about in the beginning. Yeah. And in the 80s, 70s, and 80s, more people were interested in that, but then a lot of people and you can see it's really hard to do it this way but um, they, they don't have to file a 990 that's the tax form for a, a public charity 
uh, a private foundation will be 990 PF. That's usually what my clients file. Uh, so they are, they had their 501c3 status renewed. Okay. So you, your fingers might get kind of, yeah. I, I'm not quite sure the best way to set this up. What do you think about Scientology? Scientology. No, science. This is people across the street. Yeah, you know they got this um, building that's vacant across the street, and uh, it's been vacant for twenty years. What about it? Well, it's vacant, you know, and they, they get this. Well, you know, it's not for sale, but it's uh, it's costing taxpayers a lot of money. You know, they don't pay any property taxes. The city of Cessna revoked the uh, the tax exempt status of the building. So the city come and look at it. Yeah, maybe the city will just take it and then yeah, sell. Man. Hopefully, yeah, someone uh, will good. use it for something good. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Have a good day. Hey guys, would you like a free donut? Huh? Would you like a free donut? A what? A donut? The free? Oh yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah. Yeah, man, grab one. Thanks, man. What do you guys think about this uh, vacant property over there? Where? The Mason yeah. Building, the Mason Lodge. Um, I well, I'm not really sure if anyone, um, you know, was, you know, I'm not sure if anyone, like, did any work in it. Well, I don't know if there was, like, any, um, thing going on over there. Yeah, but, they, they don't do anything with it. It's been well, vacant for the, 20 years, well, man. When, I, when we went past it, they were, like, knocking it down, so... Uh... Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a couple guys working on the parking lot today, I think. Oh, the is? Yeah, but okay. yeah, Scientology owns it, but they don't they don't do anything with it. They're not paying any taxes. It's like, you know, we could probably use it for low-income housing or you know, kids they like a neighborhood use center. It for something, yeah. yeah, yeah. The city assessor is working on it, but it's okay. just been really tough. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So, so if you hear from uh, Alex Pullen, he's the assessor. He's Okay. He's trying, you know, he's trying to help the community, but it's just really tough. Scientology just isn't willing to do anything right. Yeah, I know. So, so. that's the way it goes sometimes. But Oh, yeah, let him use a he needs a paper towel, I think. <laughs> there you go. That comes in handy. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so just the, oh, thanks. Yeah, just letting people know about Scientology, and hopefully the city will uh, use that building for something something useful yeah i hope yeah is the their tax exemption is what should happen just a cult it's not really a religion yeah. <laughs> all right guys well appreciate you stopping by have a good day I would have said hello and invite her for a donut. Okay, so we're learning how to do this. You know, uh, protesting isn't really something that I'm good at. Uh, I don't really have much experience. This is really my first time. This building here, I don't know if you're aware of it. It's uh, It's been vacant for 20 years. Uh -huh. And the city assessor has decided it's time to start paying some taxes. Or just use the property, but you know they haven't used it in any in any way. So it just kind of this is this could be a really nice area. It still sort of is, but if that building wasn't vacant, you know it could be used for something really great. So they should either pay the seventy seven thousand dollars as due, or just let someone else buy it and you know use it for something good. So I'll just let people know about it. Hmm. Yeah, Alex Pullen is a city assessor. I don't know if you know him. Nope. No. Uh, city assessors don't <laughs> don't usually become household names, so <laughs> I can understand that. But yeah, man, take take a look here. We got no. All right, you too, sir. Well, I just can't give away these donuts. I might get stuck eating them all. So you can see 
There it is. Just a building with enormous potential. Absolutely enormous potential. Now here is uh, some property information for the building that is not occupied and the subject of what we're talking about today. So you can see the owners, Church of Scientology of Connecticut and Im improvements mean you've got the land parcel and then whatever structures might be on top of it. So, so they, you know, the city has made some determinations on what, what you know, what this building's value is. Uh, at one point, they bought it like 20 years ago, I think, for one and a half million dollars. I, I know the yeah you know, sell date is 2003, so there you go. It's been it's been 20 years, all of that time. And here's uh, this is just what a property record card looks like. If you do property tax litigation, you get real familiar with these things. I mean, so, so, I mean, the city isn't just uh, taking a guess. I mean, you know, they've got some really good calculations on uh, the size of the building, the uh, type of construction, the the sale history. You can see it used to be a furniture company, Halleck Furniture Store. I mean, I wasn't living in Connecticut at the time, but I was generally aware of the, the history. And then, you know, three-story three -story building here. Now, if you can see this, this is a, a permit, and it's five years old five years old so Scientology had this permit to make some some repairs on the vacant building and yet five years later they've done nothing in fact you know there used to be you know when you do a major construction project you, you got to have a fence around the building they have a fence at one point but the fence is gone now so they're really kind of sticking their their finger in the air at, uh, at New Haven, the, the people and uh, the city assessor as well. Uh, you know, five years, and they, I mean, you know, from the looks of things, they didn't do anything. They totally don't deserve the property tax uh, exemption because the building can't be used for anything, let alone a charitable purpose. You know, I think I just realized that this blue car is one of the employees. I think it's, this car was here last summer. I remember there being a blue car behind the, the building, the Scientology building. This might be the car. This might be one of the employees. There's only a couple cars parked behind the, the building right now, so uh, maybe at some point they had a meeting earlier. They really haven't seen any activity in or out of this building. Hey, Mr. Bird, what do you think about Scientology? You know, if Scientology paid his property taxes, we'd have a little more money for uh, nice places for you to go, nice parks. Yeah, this lady was really uh, doing everything she could to ignore me, so uh, I didn't have a chance to invite her over to have a Scientology donuts. So what else can we talk about, you two? Talk about... Uh, you can see the wind is just blowing my camera around. Right this is on a gimbal stick, but man, it, the wind is just too powerful. Yeah, I think, you know, we'll try uh, like a Saturday afternoon. This is a Sunday now. It's, uh, official time here, almost 2 o'clock. 
think I started at noon, so uh, it's been about two hours. I talked to about a dozen people, but not everyone wanted a donut, so I didn't have a chance to. Couldn't get off the bus in time. Okay. Here's it. Yeah. All right, but don't make me drunk. <laughs> oh. Haven't had any complaints yet. You're welcome. All right. Bye, puppy.